everyone, it's James and Stephanie, and we are in Middlebury, Indiana at the Coachman Class B facility. That's right. Y'all know we're kind of just big fans of Class Bs, and we've yeah. always sort of liked the Coachman Galleria. Yeah, and we heard they had done some exciting upgrades, so we came to take a tour and see what all this fuss is right. all about. And it's <laughs> the weekend, so we've got the factory to ourselves. <laughs> so um, let's uh, hope our secret contacts are here. Yes, let's see if we can get in. Guys? Hello! We're here for a tour! Welcome to Middlebury! Right on! <laughs> Thank you! Let's, Let's get go going! In. Come on in, guys! Alright, so here we are, and we've got Nick Recchio yes. and John Fry. Now, Nick is the product manager, and John is the plant manager of this facility. And they're going to kind of be our tour guides as we go through this, and they're going to be telling us all about the new technology and stuff. Okay, so when vehicles come in, they start right here. Yes. Is that how Correct. it works? And right. what's, what's on this line? Well, today we've got a mixture of our Ford Transit, which is the CrossFit product, and you'll see Galleria Sprinter product all on the same line. Okay. Uh, we do three a day. So you're going to see a mixture of CrossFit Ford Transits and the Sprinters. Um, one nice thing about the Coachman Class B products, a lot of the materials are all the same in both builds. There'll be a slight deviation, uh, we'll point those out, but you're going to see a lot of consistency across the board between the two price points and uh, that's really valuable. Alright, so right here we've just got an empty van, right? Empty van, nobody's put their hands on it, it was in last Friday, last unit in the door, but we've got some stuff to show you here all right. on the Galleria. So, really neat and probably something a lot of people don't pay attention to is the floor of the Class B. Okay. Um, you're going to see some items in here that you might not see from other people. One thing that we do with the floor is we do not level the floor or put any obstructions in between the high spots and the low spots of okay. the van floor. The floor is all, they've all got those yep. ridges in Yep, them. kind of like a uh, truck bed. Okay. Yep. Also, one thing that we found out, we got to let these floors breathe a little bit. So, what do I mean? We do not level out our floor. We leave the same ridges for breathing. Yeah, there's a gap. You got an airspace under yes, there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because you, you know, today we're here, um, 32 degrees when we woke up, mm -hmm. 46 degrees now. That's going to uh, repeat, and mm -hmm. we're going to build up some condensation in this coach, and we want that floor to breathe. Okay. So, 16 feet foot single piece floor, OSB marine grade plywood, no seams in the floor. A lot of structural integrity in this. Okay. Underneath, what we use is this material. So, sound absorber, felt, and underneath we laminate a layer of radiant shield. What is important about radiant shield? Typically, the, the hottest area on the Class B is going to be coming up from the, the ground. Top. Yeah. Yep. And this is going to shoot that heat back down and keep it out of your unit. So this is our underlayment for our floor. Okay. And you see we have one of our linoleums here. Okay. Something that's very unsung. You'll see some carpet covered wheel wells. Right. You'll see no covered wheel wells. Well, the wheel well is a big drum. That is very quiet since we have this material. This is called hush mat. Feel the density of this, James. Yeah, oh no, I've, I've put enough of this in our own van to know. Very heavy material, so sound deadening, felt, hush mat, and furthermore, we take some material to the ceiling. So this is a foam product that has the radiant shield impregnated inside of it. And basically oh. what that does it's is- It's like a three layer thing. It's mm -hmm. like a sandwich. Yep. And what it does, it just tightens the can or the tin of the van from vibrating. And with the radiant shield being inside of the foam, it also gives us another layer or another opportunity to reflect that heat from the roof. So we're really working this year. Our main goal was to increase uh, heating, cooling, any aspects of temperature change on the gallery and CrossFit products. That say, was our big goal this year. Sounds like you've done a whole lot to, uh, to address insulation in the vans, and that's often an uh, underappreciated yep. aspect of building a Class B. There's some neat things coming around the corner that we're going to show you here in a minute where we really kick this uh, insulation theme into gear. So All right. Next. All right. Okay, I know what this stuff is. I've seen it. It's all over the Class B world. Now, this is rock wool insulation. I yes, just it put is. some in my shop. Yes, it is. It's um, something that we've been studying a lot. Uh, a lot of alternatives in the insulation game as far as Class Bs. You can go 
uh, try to get on blogs of builders themselves. Yeah. Um, they're going to say one thing. Everybody's got their own opinion. We did a lot of thought on this. We wanted something that resisted moisture. It yeah. didn't get affected by moisture. This meets that standard. It's non-moisture absorbent, not non-fibrous. It's all rock-based. Wanted something safe, 2,000 degree burn rating, not mm -hmm. going to start a fire. Um, wanted something that was springy because as you can see, it's very difficult to insulate behind these well, cavities. Yeah. So I'm, I'm looking at these, you've even gone, they, they've even put insulation in these smaller cavities that a yeah. lot of people would, would overlook. Yes. Now, if you were to use pink insulation um, by stuffing this in the pink insulation, you're going to be reducing the R value of the pink insulation. Not so with the Rockwell. It's got more spring, more density. We absolutely love it, and it carries some acoustic quality. Yeah, too. Every, everybody, everybody that's used it in, in their rig says yep. this stuff is the bomb yep. for keeping it quiet. You've got Rockwell up here on the headliner, and I know something about absorbing heat on a large forehead, and it's a big problem in these Yes, areas. yes. Now, the CrossFit will get an overhead here. Right. Okay. And we will have insulation on the front side of the cabinet, but on the sides, we pull down the OEM headliner, you can mm -hmm. see, we cut it out, and we put that Rockwell material or Rockwell material up again. We just believe in it. Anywhere it can be used, we want to use it. Um, well, this, this is a huge danger zone. For huge danger class zone. B. Absolutely, absolutely. Anything we can keep out out of uh, the cab directly is a plus. You can see our airbags um, here for the Ford CrossFit. Um, very well insulated. It might be a little bit too much, but we're okay with that. Okay, there's yet more stuff here, Nick, on top of the pink insulation that's already on the roof. What, what, what is this? Yeah, if there's anything I'm super excited about, it's the new phase change product. Um, something that the RV industry's never seen before. We mentioned that the rock wool picked up 10 degrees, mm -hmm. heat and cold. Well, we wanted more. We wanted more. Even though with all the radiant shield, the underlayment, the hush mat, we wanted more for our Class B customers. Okay. So the rock wool picked up 10 degrees. This is called phase change. This is a plant-based material inside these pockets that is a latent heat storage solution. So, as you see, the phase change is laid up. Again, this is an option on CrossFit, standard on Galleria. This material simulates the heat and cold retention of a cinder block that's in your home. You can't find that kind of insulation anywhere um, that's this lightweight and this so, effective. So, so let, let me jump in here. Um, are you saying this changes from like a liquid to a solid Correct. as the temperature changes and then when it cools at night it'll change back from one to the yes, other sir. and release the heat? Yes sir. Okay. Yes sir. Lifetime warranty. Um, we're going to have a lot more information hitting the website on this, um, but we picked up an additional 10 more degrees for a total of 20 degree um, increase in our heat and cold retention. Okay, now if, if someone were to, to puncture this or something, say like, you know, I don't know, they hung a crack hook or something, Correct. Is, there's nothing toxic no, in there? Nope, um, this is very similar to my wife's uh, coconut oil. Okay. Well, it's a palm oil with a proprietary uh, phase change material. Very easy, uh, very expensive, but um, you put very it useful. Mainly on the roof? Then we're gonna go through and do it on the walls as well. Oh, wow. We don't do it on the floor. And you yep. squish it. Ceiling and the sidewalls. Okay, um, cool. Anything we can do to fight the, the sun and UV heat protrusion of the windows. So here we are in our plumbing um, department and this is a really neat area. A lot of stuff's going on both above floor of the van and below. As you see, the transit standard with a full spare. Full size spare. Full size spare. That's pretty cool. Got the hitch. Okay. Got our Onan. So this is a non-lithium unit then, right? Correct. Right. Non-lithium, non-lithium. When the lithium comes in, owning goes out. Okay. Really neat feature. One of the items that I was talking about that's shared between the two products is the 330 amp Relyon AG, uh, AGM battery. It's an 8D. We've had tremendous success. A um, little bit more power than everybody else as far as the standard battery. It's a big 8D. That's a huge battery. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a robust battery and we've had a lot of success with it. Further forward, you've got a fairly large propane tank. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Got to keep the Truma running. Okay, this is the station where we start hooking up some of the breaker panels for the uh, 110 electrical. And as you can also see, you can see a lot of our backers for our cabinets in here. The shower's been installed. If you look at some of our heavy duty backers here and the wires, how they're hung up, strung up, all tied up. All right, so those openings you've got in the in the ceiling there, they're they're that's not just wood around there. There's a metal reinforcement or something yes. around there, right? This is for the air conditioner. This is for your roof vent. 
Yeah. Okay, and then but there's a welded, bolted on. Welded and then bolted on welded frame and then um, tech bolted into the stringers of the Ford roof. Okay, cool. I'm also seeing here that we're doing a little bit more with insulation. We've got some stuff on the on the windows. Now. This is a blackout for the window because we'll have a cabinet here that the window won't show. We put a blackout on, then we add more insulation in here. We add insulation on the back side of the shower. Okay, so we're down the line a little bit, and now I'm seeing we've got some cabinetry in, yes. and we're a lot further along. We even have electricity hooked up now. Yes. And I noticed the Truma Circle, and I recognize that because we yeah. have a Truma Combi in our van. So, so what's, uh, where's the Truma and what's going on there? This so on the, on the CrossFit, our Truma is underneath the kitchen, the kitchen cabinet here. Okay. And then we'll have an outlet, we'll have three outlets. We'll have one back here by the, in the base back here. There's one in the step up. Okay. And there's an outlet down here by your feet down there. Okay, so back, middle, in front of the coach. Yes for Truma and that's the heating system. That's the heating and, and, the, hot water. and the hot water system and yes. it's great. We love it. We have it just sips propane, very efficient. Yes, very efficient. Yeah. 90 plus some efficiency. Right. Then we also have our water pump down here. Okay. To pump our water from our fresh tank. Okay. What else is happening right now? So when the workers come in tomorrow morning, what are they going to be doing in this coach? What's the next step for this one? This coach, they will they'll be hooking up some of the plumbing from the countertop. Okay. To your, uh, so that's not done From the yet. sink. Right. Yes, the plumbing will get hooked up. The Truma, the uh, Truma vent hoses will get run and the outlets will get hooked up. Okay. Okay, this looks familiar. I know what we're talking about here. This is your uh, Lithionics or yes. the, the LI3 power system. So yeah. we've got an external BMS. Let me see if I can take you through it. We have an external BMS. We have a 600 amp hour battery that's like 78, 7900, 8000 watt hours. Correct. We have the Xantrax Pure Sine Wave Freedom SW. And uh, we have a whole bunch of high capacity fuses and relays to make sure things are on and off when they need to be. Absolutely. Now, the question about when, when you've actually got guys in here assembling this, do you do this here in the van or do you do it on a bench? Because you could, you could get hurt if you did it wrong. Yes, absolutely. Some of, some of this is extremely powerful, powerful to be messing around in the van in. So some of this assembly is done on the bench. Okay. Um, the guys uh, assemble as much as they can on the bench. Um, then we come in and uh, finish everything off. I mean, with the quick connect there, you could do that for the most part with no power Absolutely. to it and then just hook it up at the last second and then yep. there you go. Yep. Um, new for this year, um, you can see the UL listing, um, complete UL listing from Lithionic. So very safe battery. Um, we're really pleased with the relationship with Lithionic, uh, Xantrex, and the customers. We've had no issues. Customers absolutely love the stuff. So yeah, no, we've uh, we've so familiar with it. Quick, uh, quick question: the second alternator. When do you guys put that on? Was that at a station that we just kind of went by? Yes. Okay, so yep. we <clears throat> yep. we've already seen that. Okay, here across the aisle, this looks to be an unusually large freshwater tank for a van. Yes. And it's above the floor. Yeah. Very important on the transit product. So that looks like over thirty gallons. Oh yeah. Okay. Anything else over here? Oh, we've got our seat belts. A lot of people forget on our twin that we do have seat belts. All right. And on. then we've got our bottle jack here for our spare tire. Okay. And the award for best roof shot in an RV related video goes to, this is awesome. The roof is right here. So I'm seeing a bunch of interesting stuff on here. We've got some go power flexible solar panels, but I'm more interested in that. Yes. What is that? Yes, this is Pro Air's new 20,000 BTU 12 volt AC. 20,000 BTUs? Yes. Not 13.5? Not 13.5, not 15. Five, not 15 um, 20,000. There's a big thermal break from your traditional 11,000 and 13, 5,000 BTUs right around the van door to where you don't get a lot of heat and cold, or pardon me, cold at that second row no, seat. No, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't push the it air. It just doesn't push. So one thing at Open House, we had a lot of very uh, B-Van specific gentlemen go, okay, Nick, we're gonna walk into the zone that we know is the most troublesome zone. If we don't feel it on our eyebrows, our eyelashes, or our nose hair, or our hair, this is a failure. Pushing plenty of air up there. They were very pleased with what they got. Brushless motor, big deal, quiet. We are gonna be very quiet, guys. Um, and then when we go to our lithium package, our LI3 package, this will give us about two more extra hours of runtime. 
Yeah, so I did a, you know, I did a, a quick test, and, and this thing looked like it was only pulling about like 50, 60 amps, yes. somewhere in that range yep. of 12 volt. Of 12 volt. Of 12 volt. So um, it can be serviced. It is not a throwaway AC like some of our other choices in the RV industry. Um, this is a very robust um, AC by Pro Air. Um, we wanted to do a rooftop versus an undermount. Uh, oh, yeah. We feel that undermount is road debris, a lot of road dirt. debris, and you take up a lot of storage in the mm. rear overhead. And the whining of that mm. just was a little too loud for us. So temperature, it's going to cool like nothing else out there, uh, it's rooftop. Right. It is going to be able to run off the battery going down the road, so my customers are going to be safe going down the road. There's no LP running. Mm -hmm. um, and it gives us some extra for the uh, lithium, and um, we're excited. It, it's a great product. That's really impressive. This is the first roof mount 12 volt air conditioner I've seen in a RV by our, by our major manufacturer. I'm yep. digging it. Yep, they've done some they've done some builds with some guys who have done some private stuff, mm -hmm. uh, but we're the first um, main mainstream manufacturer to uh, use it, and I, I love it. It's quiet. Uh, it's it's very robust, and it's gonna be around for a while for us. So. On our solar panels here, we don't use any fasteners to fasten our solar panels. Yeah, it's all glued. That way, that. we're not adding any more holes to the roof for potential leads. We just we clean them with a cleaner, and then we glue them down. And, and they're those flexible panels, so it looks like they have a very slight bend with yes. the top of the roof. It's not totally flat. Right. Flat. No. So interesting. Okay. So suspension improvements. Yes. This is my favorite part of the suspension of the gallery, and this is Sumo Springs. Okay. Um, as you can see, this is the material and the bumper that comes for the rear wheel. So this is the rear bump stop yep. out of the Sprinter. Out of the Sprinter. It's just a regular old rubber. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Sumo Spring makes yellow, blue, and black. Each one have a different spring rate. Spring rate. So you can feel this is much lighter. Much lighter. Look at the spring in that. So. This came OEM. We install this. Very simple. No, no moving parts. No warranty virtually issues. no warranty. No weight. Takes about 15, 20 minutes to install. All right. So this is the back. What do we do up front? Yep. And the front is even. Um, it's even more astonishing. This was the bumper. So that's a factory bump stop up front. Up front. It's going to go up here. Right. And it gets replaced with the blue. Well, that's Sumo. It's, it's like that's amazing. Three times the uh, the lift there. Yep. The so do you get an extra inch or so of lift? No, on this is going to compress. This is okay. one of their softer. So you're going to see the compression there. Okay. USA company, um, they support us greatly. And we first started this relationship over on the transit, where we can go next. Okay. Let's do that. Yep. Okay, so this is different from what you're doing in the Sprinter. This Absolutely. is an extra leap. Absolutely. We, we need a little bit more help on the Ford to get that two inches of uh, okay. the, the chassis up two inches and the super springs have been amazing again very simple helper spring adjustable um, and you adjust it just by where you mount it right just by, by where you mount it yes okay and we didn't stop just in the back end uh, when we convert on the Ford yeah we get a little squat that covers the super spring in the rear helps that out tremendously so we wanted to get the front a little bit more rigid a little bit more sporty and how we achieve that was with another Sumo Spring product. Ah, uh, the coil helper. Yep, and this is a coil helper. Again, same made out of the same rigidity of the black on the Sprinter. And this goes on the coil. You spin it in the coil, and this works as a helper for the spring. Again, keeping it simple, keeping it lightweight. Um, very reliable products uh, from out of the U.S., and they do a good job for us. Great job for us. All right, well, that's cool, but since you've kind of broken the seal, is this the only thing you offer? Because I heard you allude to VB. Yes, we've been asked to do a little bit more than this. While I am a proponent of this, I am behind this 100%. Um, we've done a lot of research on it. We are offering VB air suspension now on the Sprinter. Okay, we are very familiar yes. with that. We have it on our ProMaster, yep. and we love it. It works yep. great. You know, we're just not going to tell our customers no. Uh, we want to bring them into the gallery line. If they're looking at other products that have VB, we want to offer that. So we've done a, quite a few VB units. And cool. then we've also dabbled in the four-point auto level, um, which uh, is a really nice feature. We have we have one of those, too. I won't be without it now right. that I've had it. Right. And uh, those that have it say that. Again, it adds some weight. It adds some more complexity. technology, mm -hmm. complexity, switches, gyroscopes, 
uh, pad. You know, you got to bring your block, etc. But uh, but it'll get you level. It'll get you level, and it'll get you, get you a solid foundation. So uh, that is available as well. So we can go from very efficient, high performance to the top of the line for you. So. Um, I believe we got you covered on the suspension end too. All right, well that's gonna do it for our tour. And so one of the things that really stuck out with me was the new 12 volt air conditioner. It was really cool to see. We haven't seen much of that in, uh, in, in class, class B. No. Yes. So. Yeah, Pro Air approached us. Uh, we were looking for a solution and um, the relationship started building, questions got answered and uh, efficient, cold, big blower and it's not a throwaway AC. Yeah. Some of the criteria that we wanted. And it's quiet. Very it's, quiet. That's been quiet. fun yep. to see. Yeah. Yep. Now, one of the things that I, so in a lot of ways, what we saw is similar to other class B production we've seen elsewhere. Yeah. But the one thing that stood out to me more than anything else was the attention you guys pay to insulation. Yes. Yep. And that was yeah. evident in multiple steps in yep. your process. From um, pretty much day one at Galleria, that's something that's been reoccurring over and over a theme with class B customers, always trying to find out another alternative or how to be better. Um, it heating or keeping their unit cold and it's something that's we just constantly heard and heard and heard and listened to and we decided hey um, let's take a shot and see what we can do better than everybody else and, and we feel we're heading in the right direction. Yeah, yeah and the better you can regulate temperature, the less energy you exactly. use, the longer you can stay out there. Yeah. Yeah. And let's yep. not forget the VV suspension which we have and we love. You're adding that as an option. Mm -hmm. That's but even awesome. right out the gate they're, they're putting in sumo springs. Correct. Yes, right. yeah, so, standard. Yeah. 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 Safety, driving, comfort, uh, all critical for Class B customers. Well, these so, are exciting things to see, yeah. and thank you for bringing those to the no Class problem. B world, and we're excited to see what you bring in the future. Yeah, we've got a lot of plans for next year. We've got a couple other subjects we want to touch on. Really? Um, we're going to keep on going forward, and um, send us your feedback. Let us know what you're looking for. We love to listen. Uh, you folks make it easy to create good products, and uh, we're going to continue going. All right, well, thanks Great. for having us here. It's been thanks great. for having us. Yes, thank you very it. much. Okay. Appreciate, it. appreciate it. Bye, everyone. Thanks. See you. Bye. Bye. For keeping it quiet and for you builders out there <laughs> you guys need to take a look at this stuff this is some good stuff very affordable uh, it's just if somebody's willing to use it or not we certainly are big fans of it and um, we picked up 10 additional degrees of heating or cooling by changing from your standard RV pink insulation that's found in roofs of RVs um, to this Rockwool product and uh, we're thrilled with it absolutely thrilled with it you just broke the fourth wall can you do that break four walls <laughs> what 